Welcome back to Farm and Hammer, everyone. First of all, I will say this week has been pretty hectic. Number one, we butchered the Free Martin heifer finally. Uh, it took us a while, but we finally got that done. So coming into the walk-in cooler here, here she is. All probably 900 pounds of her that's left. I'd say she probably weighed 1,000, 1,100 pounds. And after being gutted and all that, we did have to split it into three pieces per half. Uh, just because they weighed so much, we couldn't carry them in here. So, um, anyway, here she is. I will probably do a butchering video. It won't be much, but um, I'll show some of the meat processing. I didn't show any of the killing or anything like that, but I will try to show some meat processing. And we got it set at 35. Right now it's 34 in here. And we'll let this stuff hang for another, well, for about a week, week and a half and then we will process it. So let me know if you guys want to see a meat processing video and all that. Number two, we also had some major flooding here in Missouri. We got a ton of rain and then on top of the flooding, everything froze over. So we had ice everywhere. Um, all the hay was frozen over, covered in a quarter inch of ice and not fun. So uh, it's been a pretty crazy week, but I think we're finally over it. Problem is now we have another ice storm on its way. It's supposed to be here tomorrow. Um, so I've, I've been trying to get a lot of chores done just to get some of the major stuff done so we don't have to do as much tomorrow when all the ice and rain is coming down. So anyway, but as you can tell, I'm here in one of the calf barns and uh, I have it all pretty much cleaned out. It's down to, almost down to, the old lime that we had put down. Um, yeah, as you probably saw from the title of the video, it's getting time. It's getting close to time to get some bottle calves, and I'll talk more about that later. But oh, just showing you the progress of this one barn. I got one little quarter of it cleaned out. For the most part, one barn is ready to go. And I guess I will show you guys the Holstein cow, the nurse cow, and those two calves. I haven't showed you them in a while. Those things are growing like weeds. So here's the nurse cow, just fed her. She does get about 20 pounds of grain per day. And uh, her calves are making their way over here slowly. So here you can see one of them. That's the one we grafted onto her. And you can see that he is nibbling on grain, which is great. He's already getting started. Like I said, these guys are growing really quick. Growing like weeds. I'm pretty happy with their progress so far. This guy, obviously, he's a lot bigger. He was a lot bigger when he was a baby too, but um, he doesn't eat grain as well. He does nibble on it, but um, not as well as he does. She still doesn't like him eating, eating her grain, but she occasionally lets him sneak in a little bit, so. And last but not least, I thought I'd show you guys the, well, hopefully almost bred heifers. Um, I guess it's been two weeks since you guys have seen them, and I've been out here almost every day, and in total I've seen five in heat, in standing heat, so I'm hoping there's five bred, but once again, won't know for a long time. And uh, there's the bull right there. Anyway, so it is good to know that they are starting to cycle and hopefully get bred. Um, she's got a runny eye there. I'm going to start checking her. She's one of the ones that was in heat right here. Anyway, hopefully breeding is going well. Bull's only going to be in here for another, I guess, I guess six weeks. And then he'll be out of here. And whatever's bred will be bred. What are you doing? What are you doing? So, I'm currently on my way to the sale barn. And as you guys know, I don't buy any bottle calves from the sale barn, but I'll explain why I'm going to see how much they're going for after I watch some of them sell. And uh, so yeah, I'm gonna take you guys along. I'll probably switch to my phone camera just because I won't get as many weird looks recording with the phone instead of a giant camera. So uh, we're gonna drive to the sale barn. Sale starts in like 30 minutes. So hopefully I'll get there in time to check out some of the calves before the actual sale.
So they haven't had a dairy sale since before Christmas, and so it's been a while, and I thought there'd be quite a bit of calves and cows selling. Um, and there wasn't actually that many bottle calves, I was kind of surprised. But as you guys probably saw, the beef cross calves, uh, those would be your solid blacks, and those red white faced ones um, that looked like Herefords, those actually did really well. They were bringing 200 bucks or more, so uh, that was for heifers and bulls. Not really what I was hoping to see, because obviously last year I was getting mine for 150. The year before I was paying 250 for beef crosses, and that's looking like what it's probably going to be this year. So previously I've had people ask me, and I actually had someone ask just a couple days ago, they were asking how much they should be paying for bottle calves, and like I always say, it all depends on your area, and prices change all the time. So. Uh, this is what I was doing, I was price checking. So the only advice I can give you is go to your local sale barn and obviously whenever they're selling baby calves, which is normally a dairy sale day or sometimes just the calf sale day. Anyway, just go to your local sale barn whenever they're selling baby calves and see what, what the beef crosses are going for, top dollar, uh, the cheapest ones, all that stuff. Um, get your range and then whenever you go to your dairy farm to buy your calves, they will probably also know what the calves are worth, but they may try to charge you a little bit more. But anyway, I wouldn't be paying more than 25 bucks more than what they're bringing at the auction. So I am willing to pay a dairy farmer up to $25 more than what they're bringing to auction just because if I was buying from an auction, as soon as that baby calf steps into the sale barn, this isn't an exact number, but I'm guessing they probably decrease their chance of living by probably 10% just because there's so much disease and all that stuff they can pick up just by walking through the sale barn. So so I don't ever recommend buying from a sale barn, but like I said, I do recommend going before you buy calves to see how much calves are actually going for. Um, Cause farmers know if they aren't selling them to you, they're probably gonna be hauling to the sale barn. That's extra time they have to take to drive them there. And then they have to go pick up their check, all that stuff. So um, most dairy farmers are willing to work with you on price. It's just obviously don't give them the worst deal ever because they are giving you healthier calves than what you could get at a sale barn. So, so anyway, like I saw today, uh, I could be given 200 bucks or more for these beef cross calf calves. Holsteins, I don't know if I showed you guys any of those, but they were selling for 80 to 100 bucks. Some older ones were going for 150. So Holsteins and Jersey calves still weren't doing well, but beef crosses were still bringing pretty good money. So, uh, and I will be t calling up this, the guy that sold me the Simmental crosses, the Fleck V dairy crosses. Um, the ones we picked up a couple weeks ago, those obviously went for 125. That's what he was trying to get for him. And if he's still doing 125, I think that's a heck of a deal. So I'm gonna call him up, see if that's what his price still is. And if it's 125, I'll probably get as many as I can from him. And then I'll also be getting some from the guy I got last year, some of the solid black ones. And I don't know, We'll see how it goes, but that's what I was up to today, trying to see how much bottle calves are worth. Like I said, I know this will be answering quite a few people's questions about how much they should be paying. Go to your local sale barn, see what type of calves you're, you're gonna be interested in, and then see how much they're going for, and then go talk to the dairy farmer after that. But So I may end up paying more for calves this year. Uh, 
I hope not, but I may be. And if they get too expensive, I won't even be doing it. But if I can get them 150 like I did last year, I'll be pretty happy with that. Obviously, as you guys saw from the last couple videos, it did turn out for me this past year in 2019. So um, I'm willing to try it again, take the risk. And anyway, I won't be getting any straight dairies. They're not worth it to me. I know some people still make it work, but it doesn't work for me. So 